Greetings! It's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can host your Unity WebGL game locally so you can play your WebGL games in a web browser really easily. And this method will let you test on other devices on your Wi-Fi network. For example, a mobile phone, because it's really good to test your game on a phone if you want your audience to also play it on a phone. And this method makes it really quick and really simple. And all you're going to need is to have Python installed on your Windows computer. So if you don't have Python installed, there's a link in the description below so you can install it and then carry on with this video. And what you want to do is you want to go to your WebGL build and you want to find where the index.html is located. So the first step is, in this folder, you want to hold the shift key and right click and then click on open PowerShell window here. And the two commands you're going to want to do will be in the description below for you to copy and paste. And what you can do is you can copy them and all you have to do is right click on the Windows PowerShell window and it will automatically paste it in or you can type it out if you want to. But the first command is ipconfig find strI ipv4. And once you do that, you then want to hit the enter key. And this will find your computer's local IPv4 address. And this is the address that your computer has on your local network. And this will allow other devices on your local network, things that are connected to your Wi-Fi router, to find your computer. And your number may actually look really similar to this, but you want to make a note of this number. The next command you want to do is you want to do pymhttp.server8000. So this command will host a HTTP server on your computer with a port of 8000. If you're on an older version of Python, you may want to type Python mhttp.server8000 instead. And once you type that, you want to hit the enter key. Also, just one tiny thing, you don't need to do ipconfig find string each time you do this, you just need to do it once to get your IPv4 address. However, if your IP address is dynamic, it may change. So if it doesn't work, run the command to find your IPv4 address, then try again. And once you have this hosted, the next step is to go onto the device you want to connect to. So now I'm going onto my phone because I want to test out my WebGL game on my phone. And all, all I need to do is I need to go up to the URL bar. So I'm going to paste in my URL and the URL will be the following. It will be HTTP colon slash slash then the IPv4 address you got from the command followed by the port that you used when you did pymhttp.server. So I did 8000 so the port will be 8000. Then you do a slash. And that's the entire URL so you can connect to this locally. Then you want to go to the web page. And as you can see, it loaded my WebGL game on my mobile phone while it's hosted on my computer. And this is great. This makes testing your WebGL game on other devices because it's good to test on multiple devices really quick and really easy. You don't need to rely on GitHub pages or Bitbucket or any other software. All you need is Python and Windows. And it's a really quick setup and quick to do. However, you may encounter a problem doing this because it's a HTTP server. If you're getting an error message like this when you're trying to load the game, there is something you can do to get around this. So, in your Unity project, go up to File and then go to Build Settings. Then you need to find WebGL and then click on player settings. And in the publishing settings section, make sure decompression fallback is ticked. Basically, Unity is going to include a JavaScript decompressor into your WebGL game. And if the web browser fails to decompress your WebGL game with your desired compression format, the JavaScript decompressor will do it instead. And I strongly recommend you have this ticked especially when you're doing just quick testing of your WebGL game. And doing so will usually fix the issue that I'm showing right here. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. 
and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.